Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Brother Contrell. Um, happy to come up to you with on Facebook to tell you a quick testimony about what God did for me and my wife Camille as a result of our giving. Um, I want to just start off with a quick scripture. It says, For my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I like that word all. You know, not just some. If, no, he'll supply all your needs. But a lot of times the determining factor is faith. Now, me and my wife, we gave. We're givers. We gave and we give, right? And we have to step out on faith in order to get this particular blessing. Now, let me tell you a quick story. So, my wife, um, she had a car in November. She got the car in November. I believe We believed for it. A car came. And we were driving on the freeway, but she wanted another car. She wanted a better car. And she wanted to use the car that she got as kind of like alternative as a backup car. Well, we didn't get that far. Let me tell you what I mean. So, one Saturday morning, we woke up. And I said, Camille, let's praise in the car. Let's thank God that it's already done. Let's shout. Let, let's jump for joy. Let's dance. We're going to believe that you got this car. You know, we're tithers and we're givers and we can stand on that. Because remember, I quoted, God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Actually, Paul said, God shall supply all your needs. So he, he witnessed that in his life. He knew the faithfulness of God. Amen. Um, we all know the faithfulness of God. So let me get back to the story. So Friday, let me back up. Friday, my alternator went off at work. So we jumped in her car Saturday morning. After we praise, after we shouted, after we leaped, after we believed, we danced in the car. Glory to God. So we just praised God for the manifestation of the car that was coming. So we're on the freeway because she's taking me to go get a rental car while my car was in the shop getting worked on in her car that's older, right? Somebody came up from behind us, you guys, and hit us, bam, on the freeway. And I'm, I was shook. God, I just... We just praise you. We just shouted. We just thank you. We just gave you the glory. And now we get hit from behind. Okay. The devil's mad. That's what it is. And I don't know why. I just called my mom. I said, Mom, I can't believe what happened. So the bumper, the back bumper is dragging on the freeway. It was a hit and run. You know, I instantly I took out my camera. I'm going to get in the next room. We could not. Camille, catch up. That's why I told my wife. We couldn't catch up. The bumper was dragging. We had to get off, um, off the freeway. And... It was bad. I didn't even know it was off until we got the freeway. So I just kind of, I, I, I stepped on the back of the bumper and threw it in the back seat. This is a true story, you guys. And we went, um, and we just went about our business. But I told my mother, like I said, my mother was like, you know what? I want to be a blessing. And she gave my she gave my wife a thousand dollars, which was a blessing to help with the down payment. And my wife had already saved fifteen hundred dollars. Amen. God is good, you guys. God is good. So we got that car. But I believe if we weren't tithers and if we weren't givers, you know, I don't know if I, we would have received that blessing from my mother. Because you can, God, he'll do stuff just because he loves us. But guess what? He is obligated to do his word. The Bible says that God is not a man that he should lie. So if he lied, he would lie with words, right? But his sin and his nature and his character He's not a liar. Like, it's so much light. It's so much revelation. It's so much that we can stand on. So I thank God that I'm a tither. I thank God that I'm a giver. I can tell you countless testimonies about how God has come through and has honored his word. And I just want to say, maybe you're going through something, you know, because during this time, it might be kind of hard to give, you know, and you're, in, you're looking at your pocketbook. It's just not adding up. Well, I want to tell you what. God shall supply all your needs. When you come in line with his word, it'll do more than add up. The blessings will multiply. Me and my wife, because we're tithers, we're, we have a whole extra income right now. See, I got a whole bunch of stuff I can talk. A whole extra income between the both of us, you know, to where God has blessed us. Because we're putting him first in the area of giving. You know, it's been times where I might have missed it. I had to repent, get back in line with God's word, and then just say, hey, just start giving consistently. Because God's going to honor his word. Because he loves us, amen? And, 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 and all we need to do is just have faith. So no matter what's going on, always be a giver. Have the heart of a giver. And, uh, and I promise you, God will supply all your need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Not according to what we have, but according to who he is. God bless you.